Hi everyone, are you looking for more upper body strength so you can get in and out of a chair or off the floor with more ease? Or think about this, do you want stronger arms and shoulders so that you can lift things over your head and get to those hard to reach places up in the cabinets? Well, if this is the case, then go ahead and join me right now for this exercise class that I'm gonna guide you through step by step, which is a series of exercises that's gonna strengthen your entire upper body so that you can gain those results that you are looking for. The only equipment that you're going to need for this exercise class is a chair, a resistance band if you have one, your progress journal that you can download in the description box below, and a cold bottle of water to keep you hydrated and cool. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel and give us a like after the video if you enjoyed it, which I know you're going to. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and execute this upper body exercise for upper body strength. I have multiple bands here that I'm gonna use because the goal is to fully exhaust your muscle. Now you may fully exhaust your muscle with just your upper body, that's perfectly fine. The key here is to dial this exercise in and personalize it to your needs. All right, we're gonna to go to the starting position and then we'll start the clock. Feet are on top of the band if you have one. Whether you have dumbbells, bands, or you're just using your body weight, we're going to come to the bottom turnaround here and the top turnaround or the starting position, go ahead and follow me up, is at the top here. Now you're stabilizing and holding. Now clock is on. We're heading down now. Steady pace exercise set is slow and deliberate. Let the muscles do 100% of the exercise. We pause at bottom and then heading back up. Notice it's a vertical plane here. So I'm going straight up, extending elbows, hands going towards the midline as I head back down. I'm not shrugging my shoulders. I'm targeting the tricep back of my arm and the deltoid, that's the shoulder. Pause at bottom, slow back the other way, no momentum. We're looking for continuous and uninterrupted loading of the muscle tissue through a full range of motion. And the goal is muscle failure. So that's the point simply where I can no longer continue slowly on the way up. And we want to err on the side of giving the body enough stimulus to prompt the best results. Pausing at top, heading down, all the while reminding myself why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I want more upper body strength. You're doing this because you want more upper body strength. I'm gonna shake, rattle, roll, and when you fully exhaust and can no longer move it slowly, you simply ease out, notate the time, and then jump back in with your best effort for the remainder of the exercise. All right, we're there. We're in what we call the exhaust range. Last 30 seconds, breathing freely. Now, if this is an appropriate difficulty to give me the very best results, I should find the point where I can no longer move it slowly on the way back up. All right, one more final opportunity. Last 15 seconds, last time to try to find muscle failure. It is still moving without breaking form, full extension. Now slowly, not done yet, easing out. Keep it safe all the way down to one and relax. Woo! Grab your progress journal, okay? I completed the set. So overhead press, silver band, Plus, I'm gonna circle because I know I need to increase the difficulty next time to add the progression that I need. Just a quick shout out as we go to the body weight squat. Next exercise uh, to Diane, uh, also Fernando, uh, Francesco, uh, and Lindsay. I hope each and every one of you are doing magnificently and uh, leave me a comment in the, in the box below on how, how things are going with the exercise. All right, we're gonna jump into a uh, body weight squat, an isometric set. Heart rate's probably up a little bit, that's a good thing. So I, again, am using resistance here because I'm looking to reach muscle failure. You don't have to use resistance. If you haven't done this before, do it with your body weight first. Once you complete the set, then add difficulty and resistance. Hands are right above shoulders, very similarly to that uh, overhead press. And we're breaking up the overhead movement with a body weight squat. So we're gonna come up about two inches off the chair and clock is on. Now, you can also have a chair in front of you or a couch in front of you and use your hands to hold on right now, okay? Again, we want your body to prove what it can do and then you increase the difficulty. On this body weight squat, we're executing what we call a metabolic technique set. That's an isometric hold. Now, you should already feel a deep burn in those thighs. I'm on my heels, my knees are flared, my back is flat, and my rear end is not touching the seat right now, right? It is just above the seat. We want constant and uninterrupted loading of the muscle. That burn that you feel right now is literally stores of sugar being utilized to produce energy that leads to insulin sensitivity, faster metabolism, and great results. Heart rate's gonna start to jump. Now, the goal is muscle failure. So when you get to the point where you can no longer hold in this position, just slowly go to the seat, notate the time that's above me, 
Make sure you notate it so you can write it down afterwards and then just jump back in with your best effort. And when you can't engage anymore, disengage. Then jump back in, then disengage, right? Always remembering that first time that you reached muscle failure. Okay, so we're there. Final 30 seconds. Actively engage. Notice I'm shaking. Whoo, done. 105, right? I reached muscle failure. All right, right back in. Just gonna give my best effort for the remaining. I did it, success, right? If you have not reached muscle failure yet, I know it's burning. You just give your best effort. Flex, breathe and engage. We have no more than 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, whew, six, five, four, flexing, three, two, and one. Success, whoo heart rate rolling, deep burn. So I'm gonna write down, body weight squat, success. I'm gonna write okay, 105. So I know next time I'm looking, if I have fully recovered, give myself the golden blessed that I need in the recovery process to reach the 106 mark or greater, right? That's how you ensure and know that you're getting the best results. All right, so in this heart rate rolling, right? Breathe. In this upper body strengthening exercise session, we're gonna round things out with a tricep extension, okay? So this is a secondary mover of that overhead press, the tricep, which is gonna help you reach up high above the head or lift things, okay? So remind ourselves while we're doing it, we're not just doing it to do it. Now I've got a resistance band, you could use a dumbbell, Again, if you've never done this exercise, you can use your body weight to let yourself prove to you what you can handle and you can do, and then you write down in your journal the increases of difficulty. I've got a uh, silver whew, CLX band. If you didn't think cardio was in strength training, you're not doing it in a way that's going to prompt cardiovascular changes, so you need to check out steady pace, right? All right, here we go. I'm gonna shut up now. We're gonna go to the starting position. I'm gonna anchor the band on my knee. I'm gonna grip here. Now clock is going to be on, initiating movement slowly. Now this tricep extension, notice I'm leaning forward a little bit and my humerus, pause at 90, which is the bone from my shoulder to my elbow, my upper arm. Notice it's parallel to the floor right now, okay? You want it to be parallel to the floor and this band, the loading, the resistance, the line of resistance to be um, parallel to each other. My, my um, humerus as well as the band, okay? Now notice I'm going seven seconds each direction and I'm targeting this tricep. You should immediately feel the back of your arm lit up and burning. I'm dropping shoulder, back is flat. And notice my upper arm is not raising and lowering, it's fixed in place the entire time, okay? Picture it is fixed in place, you don't wanna move it up and down, okay? Now, the goal is muscle failure. The point where you can no longer move it slowly on the way back out. When you successfully reach that point, you notate the time that's above me, and then just jump in and give your best effort for the remainder, okay? We're going into that exhaust range. Notice we're past that 60 second mark now. So that means last 30 seconds no matter what. And if the difficulty is appropriate enough to prompt the best results in the recovery process, you will find that spot in these last 30 seconds. All right, we're going past that 115 mark with this effort here, heading back the other way. Breathing freely, squeezing. All right, one more effort here. We're gonna go one more opportunity to reach momentary muscle failure. Pause, heading the other direction. Last time, no matter what, as I go out, I'm not gonna force it. I'm losing form, muscle failure, I'm easing out. Clock is off. Woo, success, I did it. All right, before we wrap things up and turn you loose for the day, make sure you record your tricep extension. I'm gonna write okay. Right, I reached muscle failure at the 128 mark, meaning the silver band was enough to do it. Now that you've put in the work with the exercise, it is time to focus on active rest and the recovery, right? If you've been around MS workouts long enough, you know protein is an important part of this process, so that you have the building blocks to give your body what it needs to develop those results, right? Exercise is not movement, movement is important. Exercise is different, right? Now focus on that active rest. Obviously, or maybe not obviously, make sure you execute that tricep extension with the other arm as well too. Uh, and then you can do this two to three times a week, spaced out with a good 48, you know, 24 to 72 hours, depending on how well you're recovering. You may only need one session a week. You may need two sessions a week. If you're doing more than two or three sessions a week, your intensity more than likely is not high enough in your exercise. As I said before, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Welcome to all the new members of our Take the Fight to the Muscle Fan Club. If you're curious about that, you can find a link on our page. Uh, it gives you a little bit more in-depth one-on-one action with us, as well as full body fundamental exercises like this, but in greater detail, uh, because we want you to be as strong as you can be. Until next time, 
Focus on giving your best effort, writing your results down, and active rest recovery. See you Tuesday. If you want to get into a more structured and regimented program that can help you gain more control of your symptoms, then you should join our Take the Fight to the Muscles Workout Club. Now, by joining, you will receive access to an exclusive seated full body fundamentals workout class that updates every two weeks, stretch classes to help you alleviate tightness and spasticity, access to our two most popular focus on series for foot drop and hip flexors, plus bonus Q&As with myself each month where I can answer your questions about exercise and MS. Click the join button below this video to learn more information about the Take the Fight to the Muscles Workout Club and to see which plan works best for you. I'll see you all next week.